Guys, welcome back. Um, I've got something a little different. Normally I'm on like all these combo decks, but um, I've got a Dogmatica Invoked Go Second Profile. Uh, I've been testing with it loads. Going to take it to locals this weekend. Um, you'll see in the video before, um, obviously, I absolutely battered the Plunder Patrol. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Super important. It helps us out so much. So yeah, I'll just jump into it. So just going to jump into the main deck. Uh, playing Triple Alistair. It's like the only real like, sort of good normal summon outside of... Um, Ecclesia, but just gets hand trapped every time. It's kind of annoying, but gotta play it because it's like brilliant when it goes off. And then we're playing um, for the Dogmaticas, uh, Triple Ecclesia, Double Flirt, and uh, Maximus. Um, pretty happy with this package. I uh, don't really want to add any more or take any away. Maximus comes up quite a lot. Um, the Flur is obviously just like amazing. So yeah, that's that for the Dogmaticas. And then for the rest of the monster lineup, I'm playing a Mechanite package because this is a go second. Um, so we're playing three Nightfall, um, two Blue, and an Indigo. I think um, any more than two Blue is like just dead because a lot of the time you don't have like um, targets to search. But obviously Nightfall is the best one because you can plonk him and get the search. And he's like, you can trigger him. Obviously, like you know, if somebody tries to activate something, even though he's not cost to banish. It's like it's just he's a better body to have on board than any of the others. And then um, my 40th card um, is technically a Gursu, that's like the card I had, but for the rest of the monsters I'm playing um, Phantasme. Um, this, could e like, quite, this could easily be two Phantasme, but like a lot of the time with the Mech Knights, you end up having like a Blue Sky, sort of late game. Or if you open up like a ton of them, like you have no search target, and if your opponent has like two columns, you really want to maximise on getting like the plus off this card. So Gursu's there, obviously I play a uh, Galatea and a Ding in the extra deck for it, but I quite like it, it's pretty good. And Phantasma is just amazing going second. And I'm playing a Dragoon package, so for the rest of the months to line up, it's obviously the two Bricks. And for the spells, I'm playing Triple Meltdown. Um, this could easily be like two Meltdown and like a Terraforming. But I guess like everybody's playing Droll this format, so like if this is a terraforming and then you need that to get into your meltdown, at least you might actually get an Alistair and if you've got an invocation in hand, like you can actually play. So like I, I kinda hate this card really. It's so like I, I don't know man, like get into your Alistair sometimes is such a headache because you either open none of these or you see like, you know, two of these in an Alistair or two Alistair in this and it's like it's annoying, but obviously you have to max out on it because it is one of the cards that you want to see like in every hand. And then I'm playing um, just two invocation to go with it because I find the third is like super bricky sometimes. Like it's only nice if you open up like a really subpar hand. So like obviously you can make dragoon if you open up like, the two vanillas, but it's like you, you're already like in a backwards position then. So yeah, I think two is the right amount. And then I'm playing um, triple on a deer servant. Obviously that like, this card is actually just nuts. It's like actually what makes the deck tick two engines in one and like this is a lot better than like the um kind of the Alistair engine because like just seeing the spell gets you to like all the pieces straight away so yeah I love this card it's actually amazing and then for consistency I'm um, just playing triple desires because there's pretty much a lot of three ofs there's only a couple of one ofs so yeah you need to draw some cards and then um for like board breaker stuff I'm playing triple lightning storm and triple talents. This deck's like really weird because like a proper like droplets at the minute, but like they're having to discard when you go in second, especially when they've got like a herald up on the field. It's like it feels like really subpar. So I think trying to bait out and negate with this, and then maybe taking control or drawing with this is probably a better way than just trying to negate like the board blanketly. Um, especially when you've got like big monsters that you can try and attack over some stuff with. That like I think these make more sense than like stuff like in perm because they're just very like fractional in the game whereas these like blowout cards should actually get you somewhere where you can actually you know take over the board and for the last spell I'm playing um, Red Eyes Fusion which is like this de just gives this deck like some more power because like when you're relying on like a normal summon to go off pretty much all the time just to get like obviously your Macabre it's like it feels like quite subpar but it's just gives the, yeah it adds the bricks but it gives the deck like a lot more potency and I'm, I'm quite happy with when you see this and you open this and like you're going against like especially some other control decks that like it might be quite like a long game. Like having that blowout card is just like amazing. So two monsters make it, it's just absolutely quite stupid. And then for traps, I'm playing one punishment and one schism. I could argue that this could go to two to be honest, and maybe not play either Phantasma or Gursu. But I think a lot of people that play um two of these are like just going first and like trying to obviously make window and get in a flare off, but 
like I quite like this card, it's pretty good. It's nice when you can't fully break a board and you can get like some traction back. Obviously, like the pop's actually amazing, but and it's searchable, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for the main deck. Let me just jump into the um, extra deck. Um, so for the fusions, I'm playing uh, double Macabre, and for the rest of the uh, invoke stuff, one Kaliga and one Purgatrio. Um, this is quite nice because you're playing stuff like Phantasma, and like if you go in late game and you like out of Macabres, like Kaliga sometimes can just be game winning because you want to slow the game down to like your pace. Like opening this with this like normally isn't going to be like you go to play, but if you get sent first or whatever. Um, sometimes you might just opt for this depending on what's in your hand um, because if you can follow this up with a window it's like you're pretty much locking your opponent out you're going to win um, but obviously the, the one that you want to see like all the time is Macabre puts a lot of presence on the board and um, Purgatory obviously just to try and steal some games but like this is probably the most cutable one to be honest because the only time you can make this is if like you normal summon um, the Alistair and obviously make the Almirage so like you have to depend a lot on like if you don't open the Alistair or if your Alistair gets stopped or whatever like, it's just a bit, uh, but like, obviously, it clears a lot of stuff. Like, you need it um, to kill monsters if they're like negated, blah, 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 that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's probably the most droppable one. And then for the Shadol stuff, I'm just playing at Cologne and Winder. Obviously, this is getting to this. Um, that's why Schism's in the deck is pretty good. It's nice when somebody like activates a card and you can just um, trigger that and it locks them out if they've already tried to special summon. So it's like, it's proper responsive, like, um, compared to like a normal Shadow deck where it's just like, windows like the game plan. It's like, you can actually think about when you want to summon this, so I really like it. And then for the rest of the fusions, um, playing the Titanic Lad, it's pretty mandatory. Um, and Entes, and obviously playing the Dragoon package. Don't really want to change any more of those, I think they're pretty good. Um, some people play two of this or two of this, but I don't know whether everybody's playing the Dragoon package, but um, I quite like this. And then for Lynx, um, obviously you have to play the Amraj and the Secure Gardener. But because my my actual light lineup is quite high, like this is, again, this is like something I might end up cutting um, once I start playing some locals with this deck. Because a lot of the time you end up with like lights in hand or lights in grave already before like you can, you know, commit to like your Alice to play. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know whether this is still going to be like mandatory. Um, but then for the Link 2s, um, Galatea and Verti, obviously for the Red Eyes Fusion. This, again, this... This whole like little Orcus package is definitely cuttable. I just want to see what this is like. I really like the fact that you can make Ding on its own. I think I'd be playing Ding anyway with the Mech Knights because they're all level eight. Um, but like obviously having like the searchable thingy to go, the searchable Gursu to go into um, Galatea. Like obviously gives you like a lot more options. Like you can go into access code if you don't need to make this, etc., etc. So it's quite good. And then for the last card for the links is obviously just access to try and play some games. It doesn't come up that much, but it's just nice to have. And I think it's the best one out of all the link four. So be either this or Borrow Sword. And I think this just has a lot more application. So yeah, that's the profile guys. Obviously I can't show you like a combo. It's not that kind of deck. Um, it's very much control. Even if you go in second, you just want to break the board and obviously start activating your Alistair's and getting off your um, Dogmatica stuff. But I really like it. It's probably one of the best control variants out there at the minute. Um, having a lot of fun with it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, really appreciate it guys, and we'll see you next time.